Hi guys, it's Andy using uh, Godot 4.1 and um, this is going to be about ways to reference nodes in GD scripts. So we've got a camera 3D node here and in the ready function, that's where I'd like to reference things actually, but I'll cover the other ones later. I type var for example in camera it's like if I could spell it, I would do that. Camera equals, and then to get a reference to something in our scene, we can type the dollar dollar sign, and then we go see a start start spelling out the name of the node, and then the autocomplete kicks in. So we got camera 3D. Double click that, and then we got a reference to camera, so we can go camera dot position and later in our code if we like. One of the problems with this is like if we were to nest it deeper into the scene then this is no longer valid, this this path, so yeah. But anyway, and so we've got that. Let's delete that. Show you the other way. So we can hold down control, we click it, the node, and then we hold down control then we can drop it down here, which is very cool. I think this is a new feature of Godot 4, and it all automatically has this on ready uh, annotation and then assigns a automatic variable name based on this, like it's got the lowercase and underscore there. And again, it's, it's using the dollar to reference the exact point in our hierarchy in our scene tree so we can use this particular value in our code later when we want, when we want to reference this camera 3d now the other cool feature let's delete that oh i should say the annotation is is similar to it has the same effect as if it was uh, done in the ready function is just that people like some programmers like to keep their like node references at the top of the script so it's not buried in the code somewhere like down here that's the purpose of doing this at on ready kind of way to do it without that the vars wouldn't these nodes won't be available until the scene is ready so that's why you need the at on ready there now let's delete this and show you another method another feature really like i said before like if you move this around to different uh, limbs of the the node tree then the dollar path will no longer be valid it'll be some oops controls it <laughs> so then what we can do right click on this node and then go to access unique name so that puts a percentage sign there so if we now go into our code like in the ready function we can move our camera equals and now we want to let's drag and drop this see what happens it's a little bit different drag and drop and we got the percentage sign there. That is uh, almost the same as having the... I forget the right... <laughs> got that spelled wrong. But anyway, the percentage means it's going to track the position of this in the node tree. So even if we move it around, it's still going to be valid. So this is the best way to do it, to reference the node. Rather than use the dollar, use this percent sign uh, feature of unique names. If you can actually have a unique nickname. Um, you might have various uh, nodes within your scene with the same name. In that case, you don't want to do this. You want to use the dollar format. And if you want to like stop doing that, you can go revoke unique name. So the, it's gone now. Uh, but we'll put it back. And uh, and then uh, similarly to before with the dollar one, you can drag and drop but not exactly, you've got to hold control on your keyboard and then it automatically creates it, the camera 3D node, camera 3D var rather, and then it uh, uses the percentage annotation to track 
changes of the positioning in your node tree. So that is the preferred way to do it, I would guess, with most people. So if you like this video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and like if you like this video. See you again soon. Thanks. Happy Go Dot uh, Game Programming and Creation. See you.